Hi guys, welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. Today we're going to be taking a look at this stunning prop replica. It's Hammond's Amber Cane. And this one is made by the very talented prop maker Rilo. He was also responsible for the embryo cryo cans that are demonstrated on the channel. And uh, this one is an exquisite build. Now, I've been looking at getting one of these for a while, and originally I'd ruled out any other Amber Canes from my collection because I felt happy with the one I had. But I have to apologise to Rilo because this piece is absolutely stunning and I'm so glad that I've picked this one up too. It's a completely different stylization of the cane compared to other prop replicas that I've owned. But actually, it's a really nice, exquisitely Rilo detailed Rilo was one. one of the earliest prop makers to actually attempt making Hammond's cane. And the actual amber egg has been referenced from the real screen used prop. So it's been matched to the correct scale and shape cast entirely in resin, this piece feels lighter than some of the other previous amber canes that I've owned, but it still has a good weight to it and feels like a genuine cane. Rilo is known for going to great lengths to match the screen used props. Uh, this is seen in his uh, embryo cryocan replica, which exactly matches the piece we see on screen. And I wouldn't be surprised this ferrule, the rubber tip on the end, matches the one we see in the film. The cane itself is meant to represent dinosaur vertebrae and you can see that the finish employed really helps sell that. It's got a very high gloss and has nice striations running down the length of the cane. Where the vertebrae meet there's these very carefully scored lines, very accurate and precise which pay tribute to Rilo's attention to detail. It appears as though each segment has been airbrushed in the centre creating this lovely contrast of colour going from darker brown to this nice pale cream. And at the top lip of the cane, you can see there's some hand-painted weathering to tie in with the rest of the color scheme of this cane. With my replica, the mosquito is slightly off center, but I know this is a rare occurrence in Rilo's canes, and uh, I've seen lots of ones with the mosquito more centered. Now, the actual amber egg is a very difficult thing to produce, to look this smooth and this clear. If you watch the screen use piece when Hammond turns the cane, you can clearly see a seam where they joined the two pieces of resin to seal the mosquito inside. The screen use piece also bears a flat on one side, as if the piece has been left on a table to harden. So Rilo has actually taken out both the seam and the flat, improving on the original design. So there we have it. That was Rilo's Amber Cane Prop Replica. We hope you enjoyed the close-up look. These do tend to come up on eBay every couple of months or so, and they make a great addition to your collection. In the meantime, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.